Hello, I'm David Maloney with DC Velocity. This June 12th, members of the Industrial Truck Association will take part in the fifth annual for National Forklift Safety Day celebration held in Washington, D.C., as well as other places around the country. This annual event provides an opportunity for our industry to educate customers, policymakers, and government officials about the safe use of forklifts and the importance of proper operator training. In recognition of National Forklift Safety Day, DC Velocity and the Industrial Truck Association have teamed up to talk about forklift safety issues, as well as the upcoming event in June. Joining us to talk about National Forklift Safety Day is Scott Johnson. Scott joined Clark in 1995 after, and has held a number of positions there and is currently Clark's Vice President of Sales and Marketing. Yes, Welcome, Scott. Good to have you with us. Thank you, sir. It's good to be here. So we've been at it for five years now with yes, National Forklift Safety Day. Is it making an impact, do you think, in the industry? Oh, there's no doubt. A, you know, our, our industry um, mantra is a, a trained operator is a safe operator. And Forklift Safety Day has played a, a pivotal role in educating not only um, our member companies and our dealers, our distributors, uh, but has enabled us to work with organizations like OSHA uh, and other uh, government agencies to raise awareness for Forklift Safety Day, mm -hmm. uh, the importance of a trained operator, and the critical, critical fact that at the end of the day, every forklift operator goes home to their family safely without injury. Right, that's the goal. That is the goal, and uh, I'm very pleased uh, you know, to report on behalf of the Industrial Truck Association in Clark that we believe our efforts have been uh, have been well received by the marketplace, and that statistics bear out uh, again a safe operator is a trained operator. And I understand Clark is going to be very involved with National Forklift Safety Day, not only in the national but your local level as well. Can you tell us some of what you be uh, happy to be happy to um, from a, from a, a Washington D.C. perspective? Myself and a couple of other members of our management team will be meeting with uh, key legislators. Mm -hmm. Kentucky is unique in that we have. Uh, the Senate Majority Leader McConnell uh, is our representative, so he is always very gracious, gives us 34 minutes of his time to talk about the lift truck industry and safety, and he's been a fantastic supporter of everything That's that we've great. tried to do, particularly working with, uh, with OSHA. On a more localized level, uh, in Lexington, Kentucky, where we're based, mm -hmm. uh, we have approximately 250 employees, um, and we open that event up to the community, and we try to make it a fun event as well as a serious event, so we'll have uh, forklift rodeos, uh, folks that have never driven lift trucks in the community can come in and do that in a very controlled environment. Uh, there's helicopter rides, there's barbecue sandwiches, there's hot dogs. Um, Sounds like a fun time. It is a fun time. And, and we also think with a good important message. With a it. good important message. And at the same time, um, we'll go out into the local Lexington community and we'll grab about 14 or 15 businesses and uh, through, the, uh, through the networking that we do in the community, and we will give to them a week's worth of operator training. So they may bring in their, their lead person, and we will train them on uh, um, how to safely operate a lift truck. Mm -hmm. We do that at no charge. You know, if you figure we've done that for 10 or 15 folks um, over the last five years, we've had a nice influence in the local Lexington community, uh, specifically focused on forklift safety. That's great. It's a good feeling. It's Very a good, good feeling. What's the main message that Clark would want people to understand about forklift safety and National Forklift Safety Day? Uh, we we really enjoy the day. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we take the pictures, we make nice memories, we do all the things that we just talked about. But what what's critically important for everyone to to understand and appreciate is that forklift safety. You know, you have to be all in all the time. It's right. a three hundred and sixty five day a year uh, a year. 24-7 endeavor um, and and you can't ever let your guard down and you can't ever take anything uh, as an assumption and you have to train your operators and you have to retrain your operators um, and you have to have a diligent eye towards your operation safety uh, and focusing on uh, overall operator safety right any final thoughts at all as it relates to safety and cross <clears throat> role there? The only thing I would say is, you know, we're, we're five years. I see no reason why this can't be another 10 or 15 year endeavor. I can mm -hmm. see this initiative getting international legs. I can see our relationship on forklift safety with organizations such as MHI or Mahita expanding and growing. And the, the, uh, the day become um, 
more deeply ingrained into our total association. Very optimistic about the future of forklift safety. Day. Yeah, well, we're very happy to be partnering with the, you folks well, on it. The, DC Velocity has done a fantastic job in championing this initiative and supporting it, so we, we thank you. Oh. Thank you, Scott. Yes, sir. Appreciate Thank you being you, with us. Yes, sir. For DC Velocity and the Industrial Truck Association, I'm David Maloney. Thanks for joining us today.